Welcome to Blade Banter. We're going to talk about specs, opinions, and discussions. Uh, this is kind of an odd topic, uh, but then on a previous video, I was toying around with the idea of checking knife sharpness uh, with the Lyman pull gauge. It uh, was very much something that I was just laying the device uh, on. It was actually a toilet paper dispenser, of all things. And I was trying to get a certain pull on it. It wasn't very consistent, uh, so I did try and figure out a way uh, to get one that's more consistent, something that's more mechanical, uh, to try and figure out uh, something I can really uh, actually duplicate as far as a test. Uh, so some of the things that I'm going to bring into it, uh, so you already guys already see the hand size. I did order this product as well. Uh, this one is actually from uh, Richard uh, Richard Kell. Uh, so this is actually going to be uh, a bevel gauge. Uh, so that will be included in uh, reviews once that comes in. That should be in later this week. Uh, also in the Lyman pull gauge. And uh, for kind of the big reveal on things, uh, so I've been working on it. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the overall outcome of it. Uh, now it comes down to how it's going to test. So I'm going to go and uh, get it set up. I uh, go and uh, we'll run through the first one as far as how I'm setting up the tension. Uh, so you guys can give me an opinion on it as far as if you feel that it's the correct way to do it, how else to do it. Uh, I uh, do appreciate uh, Steve uh, Kluver. Uh, Steve uh, has been one that actually did comment on the video, gave a lot of good input on it, as well as uh, kind of gave me that little push to keep on going, because uh, that's what I was kind of looking for to see uh, if it's even something that was feasible, uh, what uh, type of things would be uh, a good test. Uh, so uh, for this one, uh, Steve, thank you very much. Uh, this is actually going to be something that was developed uh, just from that little comment as far as uh, even interest in it. So a big reveal. So this is the device that I put together out of wood, other products from Lowe's, and then another uh, product that I ordered through Amazon, uh, which is from Lansky. So this is the device that I put together here with a fidget spinner. Yes, a fidget spinner. Uh, so that was one thing that I was trying to figure out as far as how I was going to do this, as far as a product, how I was going to test it, uh, what it was going to look like, how do I duplicate it. Uh, so walking up and down the aisles uh, in Lowe's, uh, kind of doing little drawings uh, before I've been doing that. Uh, I was trying to figure out, well, how am I going to get that set up? Uh, so this was kind of the culmination of kind of walking through and figuring out what that was going to look like. Uh, so very odd, uh, probably, uh, <laughs> for, uh, it's probably uh, very surprising as far as uh, any type of device. It kind of feels like uh, trying to reinvent the wheel, uh, which is uh, probably not the best thing to do uh, in this day and age as far as uh, how many other testing systems are out there, uh, or even the basic one, just cut some paper and why am I doing all this? Uh, but it just seems like an interesting way to communicate as far as a standard uh, for uh for knife sharpness. So if I can get this to duplicate and be accurate, uh, then at least it can uh, communicate as far as uh, how sharp the knife is uh, when it comes in. Uh, if there's any knife sharpening, how well that knife sharpening did uh, as far as getting better or worse uh, if I don't get the bevel correct on it. Uh, but this is kind of the going to be the idea behind it. Uh, so I picked up the Lansky so put that on there as far as uh, use a Dremel and actually cut out the bottom of that to actually have that sit flush. So that actually holds um, the blade uh, that I do will be testing uh, today, uh, which is a San Renmu, uh, but I can put any of the blades in there. Also made a little uh, trap uh, so I can actually get this level as far as the uh, fidget spinner coming around and actually making contact uh, with uh, I'm actually going to be using a, uh, a fishing line uh, to try and get a little bit more consistency because uh, really the dental floss uh, Steve got a really good result and I was able to duplicate it I could not get a good duplication on uh, on the dental floss stick uh, so now with that I'm going to try something else trying the uh, the fishing line uh, this is a very inexpensive fishing line I think it's like 96 cents from Walmart. Uh, so I'm going to give that a go. i see if that works out. There's a six pound test and I'll show you how I'm loading that up and then uh, kind of go from there as far as 
uh, if this is going to be a feasible way of doing things right, in the future. So I tried different ways to get the, the tension to stay, and this is the only way that I've been able to figure out so far. So bear with me as I load this up, and I'll do pauses uh, in between. This is probably not the most effective way to do it. I'm going to pause this a little bit, actually. And I'm trying to get that. There you go. It's kind of hard to thread a needle um, when I wasn't really close to the hole. So we'll get this run through. So again, this is going to be uh, one of those things where I'm just testing it out. I'm going to, I can do these testing um, off camera, but I figure I'll take you guys along with this anyway, if you guys uh, have any interest in it at all. Turn that off. Found that I, I used two knots just to hold it in place. Uh, it still allows it to slide slightly to get and gain a little bit more tension. Uh, initially, I was going to try and get a, a weight and um, basically be able to set a line tension with like a six ounce lead weight, uh, which I would at least be able to duplicate that, but. Uh, currently, I'm still trying to figure out how this will all work, uh, if this is a feasible design aspect. And hopefully, somebody's still watching, because this is a very odd test. But, uh, so as you see there, hopefully you can see that, as far as that line back there. So that line is going to be sitting right on. So it sits right on there as far as the blade. Then we'll do a pull with it. So you use that top one, which normally has a bearing for the fidget spinner. Let me just get that in frame there. So we'll do a pull here. So 14.4. Uh, so I'm going to reset this and then we'll see what the next one is. Okay, so that is reloaded, so we're going to give this one another try. This 14.4 was the initial pull uh, for the first one on this blade. So 13.9, so I think that's getting to be a lot closer uh, as far as a standard. So just going off of uh, the previous tests on it, 13.9, uh, uh, not the sharpest blade on here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, if you guys stick with me on this, I'm going to be taking this process, um, improving a little bit, uh, and then trying to figure out a standardization I go back to a um, basically a razor blade. So razor blade is probably going to be the sharpest thing that I'm going to be testing. So I'll be able to figure out, okay, well, this is how sharp your blade is. And then by ounces, I'll probably be, I would assume probably about four ounces to be able to cut through the line. I could be very wrong on that, but we'll see. And then all the way up to um, basically there's a six pound test. Uh, so really 
I guess if you put a butter knife, maybe it's going to be six pounds of pull before uh, that snaps on one end. Uh, but we'll have to see on that. But overall, a pretty good experience with this. Uh, kind of happy with the way it turned out. Uh, looks funny as heck, but uh, I guess put, put a fidget spinner to use here. I guess this has, uh, this was something that really popular. Maybe some kids still have these, uh, but they're on clearance now. Um, it's engineered with bearings on it, so it's a good pivot system uh, for it. I was able to pick up um, this now from uh, Lowe's. Uh, this is actually one of the little framing brackets and then repurpose that for my use. This is a, a leg uh, for a table, a very short table, but a little leg that also Lowe's was selling. So this is going up and down aisles just trying to figure out uh, how to put this together. Uh, so you see here, this would actually go into the table uh, that you're working with. And then I uh, did uh, drill out uh, this area. And then I went and took the Dremel and cut it to actually channel this to be able to raise uh, the device. So if I have a, uh, basically a taller blade, I can raise this up and actually keep it uh, fairly level as far as that push to be able to keep it pretty consistent. So this is gonna be uh, something I'll be uh, toying around with. Uh, let me know what you think about it. I'm pretty satisfied with the way it turned out uh, for going from a concept uh, to uh, something I can actually have in my hand uh, play around with, uh, probably play around with uh, different lines. Um, uh, there is uh, some other things out there, but let me know what you think on that. As far as what do you think about my uh, little creation here, if it has any type of uh, legitimate purpose. Uh, if not, it was still fun to do, uh, still fun to play around with, and I was probably still mess around with it. Uh, but I'll see if this will be part of it. That will be part of the review, uh, the little uh, bevel gauge and as well as the pull gauge prior reviews so thank you very much for your time let me know what you know uh, what you uh, think in the comments below and thank you very much for your time